Welcome to Mini Fights. I'm Brian. I like to paint stuff. And we are wrapping up our Sky Tear starter set by painting the biggest Rattus monster inside of it, the Outsider. Now the Outsider is kind of a uh, an NPC in this game. You can take control of him by capturing the dome area in the center of the table. So he's not always on the table, but when he shows up, he is serious. He occupies three hexes. He glows blue with magic, he takes three activations, he smushes characters, he gives you card draw. He's awesome. And to reflect how awesome he is, I broke out my airbrush and sprayed him first with some just black primer. Let's let's backpedal here for a second. Then I got my airbrush out and sprayed him with some white ink down in the center of his torso where the glow emanates from his sort of hollow body. I follow this up with a coat over the entire model of Vallejo Model Air Blue. That's it, it's just called blue, I swear. <laughs> uh, but it's a very transparent blue, which is good. It's going to allow the black primer to show through and really look purple. So the model's purple here, except where we hit him with the airbrush. Got that awesome kind of blue gradient, right? Now at this point you could just say, cool, I'm into this for 30 seconds, see you later. But I'm going to build up a few more layers and get the glow to pop a little bit more, and then we're going to do a little bit more work on the rest of the model as well. So I'm working in some more white ink. We're going to focus on the inside of his mouth, make sure that really looks like it's glowing. And again, down that center line of his body, the interior glow that's, that's showing on the outside. Now at this point, I take a little bit of that blue and mix it with a little bit of that ink that's, that's actually still in the airbrush and give them a spray of that light blue down the center. Go back to straight white, and we're applying it sparingly, again, down the middle, trying to kind of aim it inside of the blue that's already on there. So we're kind of, as we get lighter and lighter, we're aiming inside of the last layer with a smaller layer that we're creating. So besides the glowing blue torso, we need to address the rest of the model to some extent. So I grab my P3 Meredius blue and a dry brush, and I start dry brushing basically the rest of the miniature. So you can see I'm kind of being careful to not hit the areas we've already built the glow up on, because it's darker than the glow, we don't want to kind of contaminate it. But we're gonna dry brush the entire model with that Meredius blue. And he's got a lot of real nice like textured stuff on him that picks up the dry brush real easily. And we're going to do it again with a lighter color dry brush, a little less paint on the brush. And this is a Vallejo Game Color Vertigree, which is, you know, just kind of a light greenish blue, but almost white practically. You can see how light it is. Picking up the detail down his spine, uh, his spiny spikes on his sides, his shark... Uh, like a hammerhead shark head, I guess he's got. He's kind of like a like a kaiju hammerhead shark dream ethereal monster to me. I really like it. It's uh, it's probably my favorite miniature in the whole set. Actually, it's just it really um, it has a video game feel to it for sure. And it's kind of cool that you can just take control of this big badass monster and, and whack your opponent with it in the game. So in the process of our airbrushing, we've kind of blown out any sort of detail that would have been in the mouth because we've sprayed directly into it. Uh, so, the, so the darkness around the teeth has, has been removed. So we're going to put it back with just some quick uh, Army Painter blue ink, or blue wash I should say, excuse me. And we're just applying it to the teeth. And you can see it just kind of builds up between the teeth and now you can see where the teeth are in his crazy uh, four-jawed mouth. <laughs> Uh, but it, it puts our teeth detail back, and that's that's key. We're also going to run it into his... I'm not sure they're, it, it, the outsider actually has eyes. I think they might be like olfactory uh, openings, like, like, like it's his nose maybe? Maybe that is an eye, I'm not sure. Uh, so we're going to put some of that, that blue wash in there to redefine the shadows. Now that we've wrapped that up, we're going to go ahead and put light back into our teeth. And 
one, this is one of the few things we're actually doing with a skinny detailed kind of brush is we're just going to take the white and put it back on his teeth and make sure those teeth show again as teeth. And you can see as I run down the line there they immediately pop out and go oh yeah there's teeth there. And in addition to the teeth, we are adding our last final light. And this is just, again, pure white, right down the center of his body where the glow emanates from. And then where the light would reflect on his, I guess you call that like his ribs or like the musculature around his chest. We're making sure we have a pure, a pure white band right down the middle. And then I'm just going to hit sort of the high points of that as well. We're going to do the same thing around the eyeballs, make sure that those hard edges around those sort of light sources uh, have that hard light highlight, which is, implies that they're, they're very near the light source, which is what you want. That's how you make object source lighting kind of effective and sort of trick the eye into thinking that it's actually lit. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> this is a quick one. I The video is like eight minutes long. The paint scheme in real life, um, 30 minutes, and a lot of that is me like swapping paint in and out of my airbrush. Um, super easy work. Uh, I was hoping that this would kind of sell the idea of airbrushing to maybe people who don't do a lot of airbrushing yet. Uh, if you've got a model that has a glowing effect on them, something ethereal and magical like this particular character, you can get so much mileage out of an airbrush. Doing that by hand effectively, building that layering up, would have been a huge chore and it was really very skill intensive as well. So to get this result in the timetable that we have is just absolutely insane. And it really just shows like the strengths of the airbrush besides just, you know, throwing on base coats and primer and that sort of thing. And that is gonna wrap up the entire Sky Terror starter box. All four factions, so two heroes each and four minions. So what is that, six, uh, it's 24 models. And the 25th model being this bad boy right here. It was really fun to paint actually. It was very quick, of course, like we discussed, but I'm really happy with the results. The glow looks awesome. And when I put him on the table, he's uh, gonna be certifiably scary to my opponent's heroes and, and minions. And uh, yeah, it's gonna really tie the, uh, the whole set together. So. Uh, you know, I'd like to thank the folks from Sky Terror uh, for getting me the set so I could paint it. Uh, we're going to be playing some games here on the channel. Uh, I'm going to do a couple battle reports for that game as well. Uh, now that we've got it fully painted, we can move on to that. So, um, super stoked. Really cool. And I'm really proud of the way everything came out. And I feel like our painting scheme for all these models was a nice blend between time intensive and good results. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for a little bit more Sky Terror coverage in the future, maybe a lot more, depending on how much it takes off in my local meta. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.